Kamala is not actually black. And I thought it was hilarious. I love the uh, the video clips that I saw of Trump going into a hostile environment, talking to black journalists the other day. So, uh, yeah, I, I love that he just brought that up right in front. Yeah, she's, she's Indian. And we can uh, pull that one up. Uh, I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly very much. And she was always of Indian heritage. And she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She is always but identified you know as a black woman. I respect she went to a historically either black one. college. I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't. And is what half Indian half East Indian, half Jamaican. You know, nothing wrong with that. But if she's you know presenting herself as a black woman, she's lying. She's pandering. Okay, so what we're gonna cook today okay. is cool. an Indian recipe. Yes. Because yes. you are Indian. Yes. yes. Okay, and I don't know that yes. it's yes. Yes. No, yes. Yes. actually uh, right. So this actually is I'm half Indian, Indian and half black. Well, not right. African American, but Jamaican and well, it's like 75% Indian. It's like Southeast Indian and then East Indian. But, but there were, were slaveholders in the family on the side that was on the Jamaican. So, I mean, I'm kind of like Jamaican and Indian. But yeah, I love this Indian part of me. It's cool. You look like my family. Everybody knows that. But I find that wherever I go. No, wait, everybody I knows that. Okay. And I don't know that everybody knows that. Well, we do now. But I find that wherever I go and I see Indian people at the uh -huh. supermarket, on the uh -huh. street, everyone's uh -huh. like, you know Kamala Harris is Indian, right? It's like our thing we're so excited about. <laughs> pause, to... pause, pause, yep. pause. This is a thing that we're all excited about. And that's what Donald Trump was saying. Yeah, crazy Kamala saying she's Indian, not black. This is a big deal. Stone cold phony. She uses everybody, including her racial identity. Just look at this fake smile thing that she's doing. It's just so over the top. It's so Biden-y. Just, just grin like a Chester cat. Grin like a skeleton. And it's just, I mean, who really holds that deep of a smile that long unless it's a big phony act? That's kind of where I'm coming from. The more that's you see Kamala, saying. the less you like her. Yeah, that's what everybody's saying. She's a total phony, and you see one side of her in public and another side behind the scenes. That was one of the things. Uh, well, we, we can still talk about that is uh, how she gets along with her staff and her and the turnover rate, ninety two percent, which is just astonishing. Which means she has the most toxic workplace environment you can probably imagine. She's also mocked after she suddenly acquires a new accent during the Atlanta rally, and she's transparently <laughs> fake. Is is that because she had hot sauce in her purse like Hillary? <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's the worst thing since Hillary. Yeah. Please make sure your voice is heard this November and register to vote at vote.gov. Okay. And you all helped us win. Here she is in Atlanta. So she was in this, uh, yes, gathering to make it look how popular she is. But it, they were there for a concert. They were there for one. I don't even know who the musical act was. Uh, Megan the Stallion. The okay. Stallion. Like the Ohio State. Ah, okay. So, uh, yeah. And then once that let out, then everybody started leaving. And here she is making her speech. But yes, yeah, she's putting on a fake accent for people in Atlanta. And you all helped us win in 2020, and we're going to do it again in 2024. Oh, my God. And we're going to do it again in 2024. Yeah, she had lunch wow. with Stacey Abrams and came out a different person. They, I guess they coached her how to speak like this. Yeah, too bad Stacey Abrams had a, had a mouthful of brisket while she was trying to do it because that was a terrible accent. Yeah, I don't even know what that is, but that is actually like just racist pandering. And she's not black and she's a big phony. Yeah, it's the balls to go up there and to fake an accent like that. It's ridiculous. At least Hillary actually, you know, spent some time in Arkansas. And she put on that fake, I don't feel no way tired, you know, stupid. <laughs> yeah. That's I right. got my hot sauce in my purse. Yeah. So let's but get. This is a, what, a California girl lived in Canada and is. Right. Even a Jamaican yeah. accent might be uh, acceptable, but this is uh, ridiculous. Okay.